Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I am back with yet another FabFitFun video. I am going to be going over the summer 2020 box customization spoilers. I am then going to go into some product reviews for you. I have about 10 things in front of me here. I just kind of randomly picked and we're going to talk about them. Maybe they'll be available in the add-on sale, maybe not, but they'll probably be available in some future sale. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of FabFitFun product review videos. So if you're curious to see actual product reviews of the products available in a lot of the FabFitFun sales, I will link my FabFitFun playlist in the description box below and you can go and binge yourself some FabFitFun ahead of the sale to get your mind off of this crazy time we are in right now. So I'm going to go into those reviews and then if you are curious and you've been following me, I will go into an update. You will see I am in a different room and I am in my I've been calling it my lady lair. It's like my home office. I'm gonna turn it into my home office beauty studio, beauty crafting studio room. I've had big plans. I don't know if the room's big enough for everything I wanna do, but it is mine. It is my own room to play in in my house that my husband and I bought. So, uh, so our house. Anyway, so I have, I have recorded my computer screen to show you the summer 2020 box spoilers and go through all the products and let you know my thoughts about them. So I'm gonna cut to that just in a few seconds here so you can see that and then after you, that little snip, which is like 20 minutes long, <laughs> then we'll go into the product reviews. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen. I just did a quick Google search and this was the website that I found that had the most comprehensive of spoilers for summer 2020. I honestly don't really like to look at spoilers too too much because I like to be surprised when I go to customizations to customize but I was weak and I clicked on a spoiler video so <laughs> I'm looking and I'm gonna share what I find with you and share my thoughts on what's available in the box for summer 2020. So this is SavvySubscription.com. I actually have never been to this website before but I uh, yeah, it had the most comprehensive list, uh, most organized list that I found quickly, just a quick Google search. So it's not too hard to find these. So here we go. Um, customization number one. I think that this is a really cute tote bag. It's a $75 value. Um, there are other websites that have more pictures of each of these items, if you're curious about more pictures. I saw another website where there was, it looks like this has like a nice cloth blue uh, lining inside of the purse, um, but this is super cute and it comes with that little scarf. Um, so $75 value, I'll probably choose that for spoiler one, or for option one. Here's Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt. People love Dr. Brandt products. It's an $82 value. I don't personally get Dr. Brandt products because they are not cruelty free. So I pass on Dr. Brandt all the time, but people say wonderful things. So if you don't do cruelty free, this could be a good option if you need an eye cream. I've also kind of given up on eye creams a little bit. Just for the time being, I just feel like eye creams and neck creams might be a little more than we actually need. I don't know. I don't understand why our actual creams aren't enough for all of that stuff. Um, but people, some people say that eye creams are gentler for the thinner skin around our eyes, which I can kind of see. So, but right now I'm on a break from eye creams. Just try to save a little money. Uh, the next option is this diffuser. I would love to get a diffuser. My husband's very scent sensitive, so I stay away from them. So I haven't gotten one, uh, but this is a $59 value from Pottery Barn. Oh, this could be quite nice. Um, okay, and then this tie-dye towel, which looks really fun and summery. It's coronavirus, so I don't know if anyone's gonna be able to go to the beach or use anything like this, but this looks super cute, especially, you know, you could stuff it in that straw tote that we saw at first, and this is a $58 value. So that's really cute, I like that. Or Lashes MD. So there are a few items in this spring box that we've seen a lot of. If you're a longtime member like me, if you're a newer member, then they're new to you. Uh, but Lashes MD is a product that's been around and available, I think as an option in other boxes and just in sales. So I am just kind of, you know, 
overseeing this product. I've never tried it. I don't know. I don't know if it works. I've never seen a review on it either. It's a $69 and 96 cents at value. <laughs> Interesting figure. Or <laughs> I feel like I've seen so many options. We're going to go back and count how many options are in the first customization, but this is a wireless charger. I will probably add this because I do have the iPhone 11 which is capable of wireless charging. It's a $35 value. So that would be really cute on my nightstand. Hopefully it works well. I've never used a wireless charger before. Okay, so that's customization number one. How many products was that? One, two, three, four, five, six products to choose from for customization number one. On to customization number two, we have a Michael Kors passport holder and wallet. I'm a fan of Michael Kors products. I think that their designs are lovely. I don't need a passport holder though. Let's see what the retail value is. A $78 retail value. I don't know, I, I, I like Michael Kors. I'm not really, yeah, I'm not loving this uh, particular product though. Or this insulated uh, cooler bag, and it's really cute. We have a few, my husband and I have a few, so I don't need to get another one of these. This is a $59 value. It's very cute though. R and Co. Okay, so I have used a few R and Co products. I have really liked some of them. I do know that I didn't use this particular shampoo and conditioner. They have a ton of different options for shampoos and conditioners, R and Co. I didn't use this one. I used uh, their moisturizing one, I believe. And for me, the scent was just so perfumed and overwhelming. I, did, I thought that as a shampoo and conditioner, it was fine. So I would suggest uh, doing some research on the scent. They get a little adventurous with their fragrances and their products, I feel Co does. And I've seen some people, uh, I've seen varying reviews on this. Some people don't like it and some people do like it. I have some people, seen people talk about the fragrance as well. So just if you, well, now with the coronavirus, I don't know if you'll be able to go into a salon. You definitely won't be able to go into a salon to smell it, but maybe just do a little more research online if you're interested in trying this to make sure that you'll, you'll like the smell. It's a $64 value. Or this um, blue and white kimono, uh, $59 value, Isaac Mizrahi. Um, this one I'm not too excited about. It's cute. I think maybe I just don't like the design. I've been really into floral lately, like over the top into floral. I never thought I would be. But for things like this, I see them and I think, oh, I like that style. I'll go to TJ Maxx and keep my eye out for a pattern that I like better. But anyway, uh, it looks Good, I have an Isaac Mizrahi poncho wrap. Uh, they're calling them ponchos, but it's not really a poncho, but anyway, it's a poncho wrap. And I like it, I keep it in my office at work. It's there now, which I haven't been to in over six weeks, but um, <laughs> yeah, so Isaac Mizrahi is fine, is what I used, I used one thing. Okay, moving on, I'm, <laughs> I'm blabbing about that one. Okay, or a hydropeptide moisture reset facial oil. I, wow, $120 value. So I'm set on facial oils. I have plenty, um, but I do remember researching this brand recently and I did like what I saw. I feel like I couldn't confirm if they were cruelty free or not. So that's why I decided to steer clear. Uh, but I did like what I saw otherwise. $120 value, that could be a nice facial oil. I wonder if it's fragranced at all. No, doesn't say. Or a mystery item or a surprise me, which if you are unfamiliar, the mystery item is you just get something blindly or surprise me is where you FabFitFun chooses one of these options for you. So for that option, for that customization, we had one, two, three, four, five options. Well, six, including the mystery item. Okay, customization number three. Now, I'm excited to try this. This is the Kula Organic Mineral Face Sunscreen Matte Tint. $36 value. I like everything you see about this. I want to try this. I've been looking into maybe trying like tinted moisturizer or a BB or CC cream. Um, just 
I've never worn anything like that. And I've been kind of curious to maybe implement that into my beauty routine. And this, it's mineral sunscreen, not chemical. I'm excited about this, $36 value. So I would probably get that. Here's another thing, um, the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. People do like it. Uh, I've seen great things about it. I don't get Kate Somerville because they're owned by Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder is not cruelty free. And again, I'm cruelty free. No judgment if you're not and um, if you get this. I've, I've seen great reviews about it. So if you are looking for a, cream, a face cream, this could be a really good option for you. It's a $50 value. Um, but this is another, like I was saying, this is another product that I've seen a lot of in recent sales um so it's been around it's been around it's kind of like huh i wonder why they're throwing it into a box i wouldn't be surprised if you know we keep seeing it in sales but i think it's been an option in a box since i've been a member i joined in fall 2018 um anyway uh so and then i think these glasses are really cute these sunglasses so I might add these. I often have this problem where I like like three or four things from one customization and then not much from other customizations. Um, so anyway, I like these. I think they're cute, $68 value. Probably choose those. Uh, and then a little key necklace, $45 value. So I say this every single time with jewelry, just kind of if you're if you're somebody, especially if you have sensitive skin and you're allergic to materials, just double check if you can what it's made of. Uh, a lot of times, 90% of the time, I would say that uh, the jewelry in fact that fun sales and boxes is usually some sort of plated brass or plated alloy. So it just which I'm fine with it, my skin's not sensitive, but it just kind of bothers me that they slap such a high price tag on something that is really actually only worth $5 or less. But it's still, anyway, if you think this is cute, that's just my little spiel about Fat Fifth on jewelry that I give all too often. Or the Prep Rally, this is a detangler. I've used it, it is just a detangler, and then you go on and you still need all of the same styling products that you have in your routine. $24 value. So this is another product that was available. I think it was something that everyone got in their, maybe, maybe last summer or maybe fall box. So this is another repeat in a box. So that's, that's kind of a little bit like, huh, let's change it up a little more for the boxes. Um, okay, this is another repeat for the box. I remember in fall 2018 when I first joined, they had these um, eye masks. And so they, but this time it's the eye masks plus a mask from Black, B-L-A-Q. Uh, this is a $52 value. I have seen people say that they do like the eye masks. I don't remember seeing anyone say anything about the mask. Uh, okay, so, or a mystery item or surprise me. So I think that was three choice. Nope, nope. That was not three choices. That was more than three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, seven choices for customization three okay customization number four this is one of those things i think you keep this in the freezer it's an ice roller and i love i have a stone that i keep in the freezer that i sometimes just will lay on my face um it actually came with a terra mare face mask um, that i got ages ago from fabit them 34.99 value the, these types of things feel lovely I do recommend it. You don't need something like this. An ice pack works. An ice pack works just fine. So you can easily skip this and use an ice pack and then get something else from this selection. Oh, Terra Mer. Speaking of Terra Mer. So this is a $54 value. I've used four or five things from Terra Mer. I've loved a couple of them. I thought a couple of them were okay. And then I used another one that was just... I just did not like it at all. So it's been a little hit and miss. I loved them at first because I the first two things I used from them, I loved. And then I tried more stuff and not so much, but they are a lovely high-end organic vegan company. Uh, and I do feel like I've seen people say good things about their toner, $54 value. Here is a silk pillow sleeve. 
I have been wanting one, not badly enough to buy one. So this is another time where in the box with customizations, if you're new, again, you can add, you can't select multiples of an item in a customization, but you can select multiple items, if that makes sense. So I could select one of these pillow sleeves, I could select one of the toners, but I couldn't select two toners and two pillow sleeves. So I am going to get a pillow sleeve. I've been wanting to, oh, and then the point of me telling you that, sorry, was that if within a customization you do add a second thing, it's usually a really, really good price. It's usually, for the customization one, it's like $15 more, and then for the other customizations, as you get further along in the customizations, it's $10 more, and then the later customizations, it's like $7 more to add a second item, just in case you're unfamiliar with that. Uh, so I'm going to get this silk pillow sleeve. I haven't yet wanted to spend as much as they cost in the uh, sales, but now that it's available as an option in a box, I'm excited. So $29.50 is the value on that. I remember a lot of people liked the Attitude um, pillow sleeve that was available in sales. I don't know. I don't know what people say about this brand, though, so or a mystery item or a surprise me. Okay, customization number five. So this is the Exo Sienna Adventures Ahead Porcelain Decorative Desk Vases set of three. Oh, it's a set of three. They're cute, $34 value. Those are darling. I would maybe like put those if I had a daughter and put her and put those in her room with some flowers. Those are really cute. Okay, um, or <laughs> Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist. This is an after sun spray, $42 value. I've used a couple things from the Lifestyle Co. that I really like them. They are a uh, up and coming company from Los Angeles and they are cruelty free and um, uh, they use clean ingredients. So um, that's interesting after sun spray. I don't like to be in the sun too much. I had a squamous cell carcinoma removed last year, so I'm trying to be a little bit better about protecting myself from the sun. Um, or Amica Brooklyn Bombshell blow Blowout Spray, uh, $25 value. I don't tend to use blowout sprays, um, so this isn't for me. But yeah, Amika, people seem to like that brand a lot. So far, I haven't been wowed by anything I've used from them, but I haven't used much. Or Grace and Stella say hi to hydration, hyaluronic acid, $25. I, you know, I don't see a lot of people raving about Grace and Stella stuff, but they, they make a lot of stuff that's available in a lot of the sales. Uh, or a mystery item or a surprise me. And then, so that's it. That's all the spoilers. Uh, and then, there, as usual, there will probably be the two or three items that come in every box for everyone. And then this website goes on to talk about some key dates. This just has the months. So I this at least this is not as specific as I've seen. Let's see. I know that um for the summer sale for uh, select members, the annual members, it opens May first, and then I believe it doesn't open to seasonals until something like May fourteenth. Let's see if FabFitFun's posted those dates yet. Oh, here, May 1st, so I was correct, sorry. May 1st, uh, for select members, uh, Adams opens, and then May 2nd, we can customize our box. And then on May 5th, the add-on sale closes, and I will do my best to bring you, I will, no, I won't do my best, I will bring you my review video for that sale. And then uh, customization closes also that day. And then for, and, uh, for uh, seasonal members, add-on sale opens May 14th, and then customization May 15th, and then the sale closes May 18th. And then some bill dates. Okay, now there is this other sale. So FabFitFun has added even more sales. <laughs> they did a sale that I didn't expect a week or so, a week or two ago. And now they're going to be doing a Kate Somerville and Kate Spade exclusive sale. 
exclusively Kate Somerville and Kate Spade, but we don't have dates for that yet. There, uh, it might be out there. I haven't seen them yet. And then, see, here's another themed sale that they're planning in July already. So they are definitely trying to get more of our money. <laughs> Uh, so um, I'm going to stop recording my computer screen. Those are the spoilers and we're going to get on to the product review portion of this video. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that part of the video. Now I'm going to dive into talking about some products. I have some actual lifestyle things that I wanted to talk about. I don't typically do that. Usually it's all beauty. So I am going to start with these slippers, which are well loved and well worn and oh, I shouldn't, therefore I shouldn't hold them that close to my face because they're a little stinky. They have, um, they're dirty too, but they, it's because they have the rubber soles so you can go outside in them. So I really like that. These are the PJ Salvage slippers. They came in the winter box. I got the small medium, which fit a foot up to a size seven and that worked out really well. I thought we might end up seeing some more stuff in sales by PJ Salvage, but these slippers have been working out so well for me. They are incredibly warm, so they are only winter slippers. I live in California, but if you live where it's colder, maybe they're m useful, more useful for a larger part of the year. But for me, it's only winter, <laughs> but they are incredibly warm, incredibly comfortable, and I am really surprised how much I love them. So PJ Salvage, if you see stuff by them, maybe you might want to consider getting something, or maybe next winter they'll have the slippers. Now, <clears throat> this wallet, I have not used it yet. It's the Amy Kestenberg wallet. Very cute blush pink color. I have seen it in many sales and I just finally went ahead and got it because it's $7. I could use a new wallet. I want something that's thinner. My wallet's very bulky and if it's thinner, maybe I won't stuff so much stuff into it. So the reason I wanted to talk about this even though I haven't used it is that I was very curious seeing it in sales, what the inside looked like. They only had this picture to show you. So I am gonna show you. On the back, there is this gold zipper and it unzips like zippers do. And then that's your little change pouch right there. And then on the inside, it has the spot for your money and there's something that's just it being new, there's something that's sticking, so I don't know if you heard that noise, but that will probably go away. So that's your money pouch. And then there's another pouch here, and then here's all your credit card slots. So it's incredibly simple. It seems really well made. I It's faux leather, it's definitely not real leather, but um, let's see if there's a little tag that says what it's made of. It's, it's really hard to see. I'd have to cut it out to be able to read it. So that's that wallet. It's very cute, it was $7 I believe. Oh my gosh, my hair is crazy long. Anybody have like quarantine long hair? I'm gonna show you how long it is right now. This is, this is like, Past, oh, there's my baby belly. I'm pregnant, if you didn't know. Um, <laughs> so that's past my, this is like trendy long hair. It's trendy to have long hair right now, right? I procrastinated getting my hair cut and then I was entertaining doing it and then we were told we can't go anywhere. So the next lifestyle thing is actually this necklace. So I'm going to zoom in. And um, so this is Jennifer Zuner. I mentioned in the box video that I'm very, very skeptical about a lot of the jewelry that's available in the sales. This, this I can't remember the retail, but I paid $19. I like Jennifer Zuner because it's actually it was either stainless steel or sterling silver, which are materials that I'm okay with. I believe this was gold, a gold plated sterling silver. It is ju it just barely fits my neck. I never thought of myself as somebody with a very large neck. I don't think of myself as a small woman by any means, but I never thought of myself as somebody with a very large neck, but there are two settings on the necklace and it definitely doesn't fit on the first setting and it just about fits on the second. And then sometimes as I'm moving, I can kind of feel it. So it's a little bit, it's, it's borderline too tight. I don't think it's too tight, but I do like how dainty it is and it's a beautiful layering necklace. So this is Jennifer Zuner. That's a jewelry designer that I do like that is often available on FabFitFun sales because of the material uh, that she uses. Okay, next lifestyle thing. This 
foldable yoga mat. I gave this a good try. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. It was so disappointing. I'm not an expert at yoga, <laughs> but I did learn that I know I don't like mats like this. This is incredibly thin. Um, I want to be able to show you. Let me just unfold it. So it is a good size. It's the normal size a yoga mat should be, but the, it's, I don't, I don't even know. Okay. So it's probably, I want to say three millimeters thick. So I actually took this to a yoga class instead of my actual, it's a mess behind me, but I have like a traditional yoga mat that's like a good centimeter thick and it's got a lot of, so it's got all that padding. This is a few millimeters thick. And when I was in the yoga class, not only was it not enough absorbency for the, between me and the hard floor, it, so my, my knees and my hands were hurting. It also, um, there was no grip. I was slipping. I don't wear, you know, any socks or anything with grip, those special yoga socks or and anything like that. So I was bare feet, bare hand, and, and I was slipping. This was the most miserable yoga session I've ever had because of this mat. I have been holding on to it to tell you about it and I will probably just donate it. So I am a little bit skeptical of some of the travel yoga mats that you see in the FabFitFun sales, like that one, the foldable one. Make sure if you're, you're newer to yoga, I do recommend a thicker yoga mat. I'll get my yoga mat and I'll show you. Okay, so this isn't even um, centimeter thick, but it's about twice as thick as the foldable yoga mat that I just, uh, said was pretty terrible. And it makes a world of difference. It is so much more padded and more comfortable to use. I got this at a garage sale for $5 like 15 years ago and it has been perfect. So still on yoga, I did get though yoga books from one of the sales. If you do yoga at home, which is cheaper and the only option right now, uh, yoga blocks are fantastic. You can get household items that are similarly shaped to replace these um, and use in their place. These help you with yoga if you aren't quite as flexible as the instructor and you can't reach the floor, you can put these and you can reach down to these or you can relieve pressure off of your wrists and uh, lean on them with your elbows or you can use them, they're, they're used in yoga so much. This isn't a yoga video, <laughs> um, but these were great. These are Bala, Bala, that's the brand. And I've seen some other stuff by this brand in the uh, sales available. So I'm very happy that I got these. They were very inexpensive for yoga blocks. I've been using them. Okay, so that's all the lifestyle stuff that I have. Now I'm gonna go into some beauty stuff. So I, I wanted to do a before and after of this. This is the Glow, let's see, Wrinkle Treatment Light Therapy Revive. So light therapy is a newer thing and it has proven to be very effective. I It was recommended to me by my dermatologist. I have a lot of discoloring right here that, you know, I'm 37, it's, it, it reminds me that I'm getting older. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So I was asking my dermatologist about ways to work on that and she recommended light therapy. That was pretty much the only thing she recommended. I tried to use this, I wanted to do like a 30 day before and after. This one is not for dark spots. So, so certain devices are for certain things. There are ones for acne, there are some that are for wrinkles like this one, and there are some that are for dark, dark spots mainly. This one says it's mainly for wrinkles. I wanted to do a before and after of my crow's feet, but when you use it, you put it right next to your eye, so you just do this and it turns on. And you put it right next to your eye, I feel like I'm gonna go blind. It's so bright. <laughs> so I don't know, I have to figure out a way to maybe cover my eye while I'm using it so that I can actually start to do that and see if I can get a good before and after. I have, ever since I was in my early 20s, I've started to get the wrinkles right here. So that started pretty early for me. So that's my uh, impression of that. <laughs> I just thought I would share that that's what's going on. I'm trying to figure out how to do before and after without blinding myself. Okay, here is an empty. I haven't seen this in a sale since I bought it. 
but if it comes up in a sale and you need a facial oil, I highly recommend this one. I've talked about it before. They still have products in the sales that I've seen, but they've mainly had hair products in the sales. And I used one hair product by this brand, Marula, and I did not like it at all. It was their hair mask. It was terrible. It was no better than a terrible, no, not terrible. It was no better than an okay conditioner. But this face oil was so lovely to use. And it has, I, this was the first time I had seen this. It has one of those caps where when you twist, it pops up and that's what sucks the product into the dropper. And this was $19. It retails for something like $70. It smells a little bit nutty and that's about it. It's, it's, that's, it's a very, very subtle nut, nut smell. And it worked so beautifully. I loved it, loved it, loved it. So if that does come up in a sale, I would recommend picking that up if you need a facial oil. Here is a Marrakesh product. I am loving Marrakesh products. I haven't tried too, too many actually. This is the third one that I've tried, but so far I've liked all three very, very much. Uh, this is the Marrakesh style mod multi-purpose styling cream. I powered through this. I only, this is empty, empty. Um, <laughs> I bought this two sales ago, maybe three sales ago, and it is gone and I am working on the second one. I sprung for two because they were $5 each and I had a feeling that I would really like them. They had good reviews. It had good reviews. So the styling creams, if you didn't know, they work very well in curly hair. This is a very subtle one and when you use it, you don't really feel like you have product in your hair. My hair is naturally curly. I have straightened it because if I straighten my hair, I can be lazy with my hair for at least a week, right? But I use it in my curly hair. It was great. The scent of most, all of the Marrakesh, all three of the Marrakesh products that I've used so far, the scent is like, I've described it before as kind of like an expensive new agey incense, almost nakchampa y type smell, which I really like. It can be strong if you use it on your dry hair. I did use it to touch up my dry hair once and it was too strong, but if I use it on my wet hair and then I let my hair dry, then I have like a subtle scent like that and I think it just smells really good. I have the hair oil, their hair oil in my hair right now uh, to um, fix the straw-like ends I get when I straighten my hair and it smells so good. Next, I just moved into a new home and the prior owners put in a water softener. So it is changing the way products perform in my hair. I have to let you know that it is for the better. It's really, really nice. I could go into my worries about a water softener in the home. I'm worried that the salt, you put salt in it. I'm worried it's bad for the pipes. I'm, I'm a first time homeowner, so I'm starting to think about all these things. Anyway, but so it's changing the way my hair is and performs for the better. So I wanted to say that because I'm about to talk about these, but the first time I used them was in my shower with water softener. So if you have hard water where you live, products have a tougher time performing well is something that I just learned. So this is the, what is this? This is the We Are Paradox shampoo and conditioner. In the shower with the water softener, this stuff was great. It was so nice. So I really, really like this. This is an Irish based company and they are very into being cruelty free, non-toxic, as natural as possible. They, what I love about them is they don't use plastic. I think that this pump part right here is plastic, but the rest is aluminum. So it's great, you know, show the world that we don't need to use so much plastic. I was surprised that I'm so impressed. I think the soft water ha plays a huge part in it because I did buy their hair mask a few sales back and I used it and it was nice. I liked the smell. Oh, I'll tell you about the smell too. It smelled the same as these. I liked the smell. It was a botanical herbal smell, which is like one of my favorites when it, it feels like you walked into a high-end spa and you just smell all the expensive oils and everything. So it's a botanical herbal smell, but their hair mask, when I was in a different city, no water softener, I felt like their hair mask performed no better than a, a fine conditioner, hair conditioner. So I'm, I'm just not sure if it's the product 
or if it's the water softener. <laughs> Either way, um, my impression is I'm very excited about these. I love the way they smell and they worked magically in my hair in conjunction with the water softener. Um, my husband's also raving about how much better his hair is with the water softener. So unfortunately that's gonna kind of skew, I think, my ability to give you very accurate product reviews on shampoos and conditioners. I'm a little bummed about that, but I'm also really happy that my hair feels so good. Speaking of that, uh, hair shampoos and conditioners, hair masks. So I really love this hair mask. I was using this before we moved into the house. I was using it in the last place we were staying. We were staying with my parents while we were sort of doing house hunting. So this is the Mont Shampooing. It's in French. And it has it was available two or three sales in a row and I finally decided to get it in the last sale I saw it in and I haven't seen it since. I really, really like this stuff. I was just intrigued by it. It's a French product. So I oh it smells really good. It smells like a little bit citrusy and then it's got goji berry, so a little bit fruity but but very hair salon-y as well. Oh, it smells so good. It's so surprising. I want to try to show you. It's like a gel like consistency. See that? I just have, I don't even have, that's not even like one more application for my hair because my hair is just so long right now, but it's really interesting. And when I felt it, when it first came out, I didn't expect it to make my hair feel so good, but I liked this. I liked this a lot. I'm going to get it again if it does show up in a sale again, and oftentimes things do pop up again. So I've, there are some things that I let go by though that I've never seen again, and I've, like I said, I've been a member since fall of 2018, so. Okay, so now this is the Sonage Vitamin Rich Cream. This came, so it, oh, let's get a little longer. So I have seen Sonage products in many of the Fat Fit Fun sales and no one ever said anything about them. No one raved, I couldn't find product reviews, no one had input. One sale, a few sales ago, people finally started saying how amazing they were. I almost wonder if there was like a plant in the forum, like somebody from Sonage went into the forum and decided to just start talking, talking about Sonage. But uh, they definitely had a marketing ploy for that sale because they had, uh, it was a Sonage bundle and you could get five Sonage products, four or five Sonage products for like $19. I was able to snag one. And this was in that bundle. Now, if you are someone with dry skin, you wanna go for the rich creams. So if you have oilier skin and you got that bundle and you were using this, I'm wondering if you, what you thought of it. But for me, my skin is dry. It works beautifully. Rich creams work beautifully on my skin. The souffle whipped creams are more light creams for like oilier skin. And, but this one, it works, it feels so nice. It works really, really well. And it smells hardly at all. And there's something like that's a little bit creamsicle smelling about it, which typically I'm not into that kind of a scent, but I'm okay with it, I think probably because it's so subtle. So I really, really do like this. I tried some of the other products in that bundle, which I don't like as much, um, but I will talk about those in another review video because I didn't put them here. <laughs> I have a lot of backed up products that I can talk to you about that I, I, I need to do like four of these review videos because I just haven't had time. But now that we're in our house, the baby's coming in about a month. Uh, anyway, okay, <laughs> I'm scattered. So the next product I have to talk about is this Gloss Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Hair Serum. So I hadn't heard of this brand until it, a bunch of their stuff showed up one sale a couple of sales ago and I decided to spring for a lot of it. I bought four things. I bought their shampoo, conditioner, uh, this, and then the last thing that I'm going to tell you about. And I know my friend Lauren, hi Lauren, she messaged me and she said she really likes a different product from this line that wasn't available in the sale and that her stylist uses, uses it. So I think that this is a line that stylists use in their salons. This 
is a hair serum, which is actually a hair oil. I purchased it because I do like hemp seed oils, cannabis sativa seed oil, seed oils. I think hemp is a great material. Hemp is very, very useful. I hope, I, I hope one day it gets more widely accepted. It's a very, very wonderful thing. I do love the way hemp seed oils perform in my hair, on my skin, etc. This performed well. I don't like the smell. I'm so sad. I don't like the smell at all. It smells like, whew, very strong floral. Like very strong, sweet floral. And it, it's just so strong. So if you like that kind of a smell, maybe that would be okay for you. It was just too strong. I'm gonna give it one more try. I used it once. This is a first impression review. So I will give it, I will give it another go. I do believe that usually first impressions, if you don't like a product, a lot of times that's user error. So you have to figure out how to best use the product. But the smell, the smell. I wish it didn't smell so strong. It's heavily fragranced. I don't mind some heavily fragranced things if I like the fragrance, but this was just too strong of floral for me, which I can't handle. So now this is the Fab Me from the same line. So you can see that's kind of how they go about naming their products. Gloss Me, Fab Me, the, I have the shampoo and conditioner. They're called Puff Me which now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if that's volumizing, and I I guess I could use some volume, I don't know. Anyway, again, this performed fine. It's a spray, leave-in conditioning spray. Ugh, this one smelled even worse. This one smelled like half hairspray, half floral, and it was very, very strong. And I don't know why there would be such a strong hairspray-like smell in a leave-in. Maybe there's something beneficial in a similar ingredient that to hairspray, but I can't stand the smell. Let me know if you think it would be tacky to do a giveaway of products that I use once but don't want to use anymore because it happens. I like to just get things and just try it and take a gamble. Fab Fit Fun is the only place I really spend much on my beauty products. So these are great products and somebody might be okay with the smell. So if you think it wouldn't be tacky to do a giveaway with my once used products, please let me know in the description box below and I will see if I can coordinate that. If you think it would be Pataki, go ahead, say it. I won't do it and I will just donate to the women's shelter. But if there are some people that say they'd be into it, at least there would be some entries and I could go to somebody who would actually use the product. Okay, so that's it. That's everything that I've put in front of me to tell you about for this video. Like I said, I have more things to tell you about, but I am going to save it for another video because this video is quite long. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you consider subscribing and uh, sticking around. Say hello in the comments below. If you're not new to my channel and you are curious what is going on with me in my life at this point, I am gonna jump into a life update. So I am, like I said, sitting in my lady lair. I'm gonna show you a clip of what's going on behind me. Obviously, we are still unpacking. So I'm gonna show you a clip now. Okay, so here it is. This is my lair. Uh, it's the smallest bedroom in the house. I got the extra bedroom because we have a two car garage. I gave my husband the garage, so I got the extra bedroom. My husband can park his truck and he can build a workshop in the other half of the garage, so I got the spare bedroom. This is actually my office I, my, for my daytime job right now since we're working from home. There's all the products that I just told you about and then, uh, yeah, I have a whole lot of organizing to do, but it's taking time and I think I'm gonna maybe start to shove things into the closet just so I can get this set up so that I can feel a little more sane and maybe even start doing some yoga in here. I have my blocks and my mat there. But yeah, so this is a bookshelf. I actually built this bookshelf about 10 years ago and all of my products, all of my overstock is there. Lots to get through. Um, it's nice to have it out like that to see so that when I'm shopping sales I can come and just glance at this and say, okay, no, I definitely don't need any more shampoo and conditioner. I definitely don't need a sixth face cream. So um, yeah, and then there's um, yeah boxes I just need to go through. 
So there's that, and then I have the spare closet to hang my overflow of clothes. Yeah, so this is this is gonna turn into my at-home office and my beauty room and crafting room. I have a sewing machine that I want to set up in here. I have I have big plans, so I will show you an after once this is all set up. Okay, so I have big plans for this very messy room. As far as me, now I am in my ninth month. I am 34 weeks and four days pregnant, so that's the ninth month. I've learned that pregnancy is actually almost 10 months as opposed to 9 months like everyone says. So I am pretty far along. I just had an ultrasound to see how big the baby is. He is 6 pounds, which is the 52nd percentile. So he's right on track for growth. If you missed it, I'm managing gestational diabetes. So that's why I had that test to see how big he is because unmanaged gestational diabetes, you're at risk of having a very large baby. So therefore, you're, um, m you might be recommended for C-section because it would be more t difficult to have natural labor. So it looks like I'm going to be able to have a natural label labor. They will probably do one more scan where they measure his size. Uh, but he is on track. I'm going to show you my belly right now. My shirt's a little see-through because it's so hot. But I'm going to show you my belly. There it is. I am very, very pregnant. <laughs> he moves a lot, so that's also good. Um, aside from the gestational diabetes, I've been very, very lucky. I haven't had a lot of complications or any other issues, actually. So that's been really great. Um, we moved into the house about two weeks ago. It's not turnkey. I'm So I'm back to being really, really busy with moving out of my parents and then into this house and I'm still working full time, a very, very busy job. And we have all this deferred maintenance from the previous owner. Luckily, they only lived here for three years, but they just let things go. And I don't even know that they realized it, but there's some very odd things that we're finding that we have to fix. So there's a lot to do. We have not even set up the baby's room yet, which is fine. The baby will sleep in our room for the first couple months in a little bassinet anyway. So we're moved in. I am not going on maternity leave for another month. Um, I'm going on maternity leave 10 days before my due date because I am just insane. But I do feel like there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel with finally settling in. It doesn't feel real still. This doesn't feel... I don't feel like I'm in my house yet. I walk around and I feel like I'm in someone else's house or I'm renting again and then I realize, oh, this is my house. Wait, well, it's actually the bank's house, but it's in my name. My brain has been very consumed by motherhood stuff and searching for best things for baby. If you're a mother and you have any tips on must-haves for baby, please leave it in the description box below. I have a registry going. I could add it to the registry, see if somebody would buy it for us. Um, it's, I feel so special every time somebody buys something for us from the registry. So, and, but because my brain is so consumed with, you know, researching strollers, researching cloth diapering, researching all this stuff with baby, it's not appropriate for my channel. So I'm thinking about a second channel that's more lifestyle and motherhood. I'm not sure. Let me know if that's something you would be interested in. But it, it's not, it definitely doesn't match what I'm doing with this channel. But that's where my brain is right now. So I'm thinking about while I'm doing that stuff, I could be making videos, but it's not the same content that I make for this channel. So that's how I'm doing. Let me know how you're doing. How are you handling this crazy quarantine, please just, you know, feel free to just vent in the comments below. Talk to each other, support each other. This is a crazy time. I, I, because I'm pregnant and I have the gestational diabetes, so people with diabetes are at higher risk during this time. So I have those two things. I'm not even going to the grocery store. <laughs> I'm going on walks around the neighborhood and sometimes I ride in the car with my husband on an, when he goes to the grocery store and I sit in the parking lot because I just wanna go out and I tell him that he's showing me a good time <laughs> by taking me on a car ride. Anyway, I have missed you guys so, so much. I feel 
Like I can finally start to make a video here and there, but I do want to get my lair set up a little bit better because this isn't quite yet comfortable to film in, but I will get there and then I will start making my videos more regularly soon. Okay, thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.